cats of the cutting age. Mr. Whiskers might be a good cuddle companion, but did you know he's also a subject of a serious scientific study? Ooh, I know that in recent years, experts have peered in cat DNA. And I already have wild cat DNA in my blood. And have made all kinds of discoveries. How about everything from the regions of cat disease to how felines went from being wild animals to our closest closest friends to our closest friends read on to learn about some of the most exciting new research on cat genetics genetics 101 living things store information in molecules inside their cells these molecules are called dna dna is a long strain made of a sequence of four kinds of molecules, the order of the sequence acts like a set of instructions that tells our bodies how to develop an affectation by figuring out the order or sequence. The DNA scientists can figure out how living things are made in 2015. A team of scientists led by geneticists and cat lover. I'm a cat lover too. Lassie Lyons of the Uni University of Missouri in Columbia, Missouri, USA set out to sequence the genomes of 99 domestic cats. See a black-footed cat up there? This has vulnerable species decoding disease. By sequence the cat genome, scientists hoped to discover the genes that cause certain feline disease and developed more effective medic medicines in 2017. Researchers were able to identify a genetic mutation that causes blindness in an endangered species called the black the African black footed cat. This knowledge will breeding programs this knowledge will help breeding programs carefully cross captive black footed cats to avoid passing on the mutation. But this research doesn't help cats the same gene that leads to blindness in cats and known to cause vision help problems in humans too. It's one of many genetic disorders that are similar to both cats and people. Studying the feline genome someday help experts better treat human diseases too. Look how cute this black footed cat. The first cat to have its genes analyzed was an Abyssinian, page 28, named Cinnamon, back in 2007. The DNA of domestication. Scientists have also used DNA analysis to study the regions of cat domestication. In 2004, they compared the DNA of wild kitties with that of their couch dwelling counterparts, they discovered mutations in three areas of the cat genome that may have changed the per the personalities of cats so they can become friendlier, less wild. The researchers found that compared with wild cats, I'm the wild cat in my DNA. Domestic cats have more mutations on genes that modify aggressive behavior, form memories, and control the ability to learn. Researchers think wild cats 
with these traits would have been more likely to get along better with and live closer to humans. Cats with friendly genes would have crossed with each other, passing on the genes would have crossed with each other, passing on the traits of their offspring. After generations, the friendlier cats were different enough from their wild cousins to form a whole new species, Felis catus, the domestic house cat. See the British shorthair right there? This cat is so adorable.